Welcome, I'm Vic Firth. In this video, I and some of my drummer friends are going to share with you the musical and performance values of a well-designed and well-made drumstick. No matter what type of music you play, from concert, jazz, to rock, the drumstick should be considered as one of your most important tools for making music. My strong belief in the importance of a quality stick or mallet to the drummer and percussionist led me to start making my own sticks primarily for my own use. This came about because as timpanist with the Boston Symphony, I had served violinists who spent fifty to a hundred thousand dollars for a violin and several thousand dollars for a bow. The drummer, on the other hand, was playing with sticks that were not necessarily straight, perfectly paired, or well designed for the music that was being performed. I then decided to create some sticks for my own personal use. They worked well, were perfectly straight, and were pitch paired. Then my students at the conservatory became interested. As these young percussionists graduated and went out into the musical arena, they began visiting drum shops and showing off their Vic Firth sticks. Then came telephone calls and orders from dealers, and from there we began a climb that has only gone up since day one. Today, Vic Firth sticks are found in the hands of the world's greatest drumming artists. The most creative and successful drummers that I know all highly value their sticks as indispensable and primary tools of their craft. Also, they don't limit themselves to just one type or model of stick. When it comes to the sound production capabilities of a stick, there is no one stick that is ideal for all musical applications. A light stick with a small tip may be the right choice for playing in a small jazz group but not offer the power and durability needed for a heavy rock band. By employing a variety of different sticks, you can increase and enhance the tonal qualities of your drums and cymbals. Music is the art of producing sounds that offer the listener pitch, rhythm, and color. Color is the key word for the drummer. Changing sticks, yet using the same drums and cymbals, brings you alternative sound colors for the same music. A well-designed stick should function like a natural extension of the drummer's arms and hands. Because each drummer is physically different, there is no one stick length, weight, or design that is ideal for all drummers. But with the great variety of stick models available today, you shouldn't have any problems finding sticks that feel good in your hands. Now let's start to explore the many design and manufacturing elements of a stick that directly affect sound production, sound projection, and the efficiency of your own playing. What does make a great drumstick? The perfect combination of balance, response, and feel. Each of these critical factors is a function of a stick's design, including the location of the shoulder, the shape of the tip, 
the taper and thickness of the neck, and the species of wood. Let's begin with the basic components of a drumstick. The basic part of the stick, of course, is the shaft, the shoulder, the neck, and the tip. Shoulder location determines the sound a stick will produce on your drum heads and to a lesser degree on your cymbals. It also acts as a fulcrum point. Its proper placement in relation to the thickness of the shaft provides optimum stick rebound. The taper of the neck from the beginning of the shoulder to the tip affects the feel and rebound of a stick. A long taper provides more flex and a faster response while a short taper is stiffer and offers additional strength. Tip shape is critical to the overall sound a stick will produce on cymbals. A full teardrop stick produces a dark, rich cymbal sound, enhancing the lows. A barrel tip produces a great, broad sound, wonderful for the studio. A small round tip, on the other hand, produces a brighter cymbal sound with more highs. A large round tip produces a fatter or thicker sound. Special or hybrid tips offer variations of the basic teardrop, barrel, and round tips. Of course, nylon tips produce the brightest sound regardless of shape and are the most durable. Thickness affects a stick's overall weight, sound projection, and strength. A thicker, heavier stick creates bigger sounds and offers increased durability. A thinner stick is lighter, faster and plays with greater ease. Length affects leverage. A longer stick offers greater striking power and reach. Wood species is key to a stick's response and durability. Maple is the finest of the three woods with the tightest grain pattern. It is the least dense and produces a light, fast-playing stick with the greatest amount of flex. A maple stick is perfect for the drummer who is playing lighter types of music or prefers a beefier stick without a lot of weight. Hickory has a more fibrous grain and is denser and more rigid than maple. For these reasons, a hickory stick produces less flex and a more pronounced sound. It is also capable of withstanding a great deal of shock, making it much more durable. Japanese oak is the densest of the three woods. It has little to no flex and the most rigid response. It produces a brighter sound on the cymbals and is highly durable. Finish is important to the way a stick feels in your hands. We use a variety of finishes that range from a high gloss to wax-based flat finish. The gloss finish has been the traditional method of sealing and controlling moisture content in the stick. In the 1980s, we began using a wax-based finish that heats up in the drummer's hands thus creating a tacky surface for a more secure grip. This wax-based finish is also environmentally sound. At Vic Firth Incorporated, we operate under one uniting philosophy, an unwavering dedication to providing the highest quality sticks and mallets available. We highly value the trust that thousands of drummers have placed in the products that carry the Vic Firth name. We are fully committed to product excellence. Since we started making sticks 33 years ago, we continue to go the extra distance to produce the perfect pair. I personally design the tip shape, shoulder and overall stick dimensions of each model to ensure proper performance. We are uncompromising in the materials we select and our standards of quality control. These high standards are found in each and every pair of sticks or mallets that we produce. Here are some unique steps that we take to ensure that Vicfirth sticks and mallets are of the highest quality. Every stick is rolled for straightness upwards of six times during the manufacturing process. Even raw dowels are rolled and warp dowels are culled before they are turned into sticks. Finished sticks are then rolled several more times during the production process to ensure that only perfectly straight sticks reach the drummer. Because wood naturally varies in color, our color matching process is equally exacting. Sticks are separated into five color categories before they are paired, ensuring tight color consistency between the pairs. 
A proprietary computer pairing system measures the weight, pitch, and density of each stick and compares these variables to the characteristics of hundreds of other sticks. Pairs are then matched to the closest possible tolerances, resulting in two drumsticks that are perfectly matched for optimum balance, sound, and feel. No other stick manufacturer in the world offers this value-added service. All of our sticks, excluding a few signature models, are finished with sealer only and a light coating of a specially formulated wax. This combination produces a flat finish that provides an excellent gripping surface, even under heavy playing. As the drummer's hand heats up, the wax finish creates a tacky surface to ensure a secure grip. Matchbox packaging, created and developed by Vic Firth, encourages retailers to keep our perfect pairs together. Additionally, the Matchbox was conceived with the environment in mind, made from 100% recycled paperboard and printed with soybean-based ink. We are dedicated to manufacturing in the USA. Though we import Japanese oak for our Shogun line, the sticks are turned at our factories in Maine. This ensures that our exacting quality standards are met. All Vic Firth products are first quality. We sell no product seconds. In your search for the perfect sound, pick up a perfect pair of Vic Firth's drumsticks. We guarantee your satisfaction. Thank you, Vic, for your informative overview. Whether you've been playing for years or just starting, this video will show how you could be using a variety of different stick models to increase your technique and creative musical expression. Just as the professional carpenter would not depend on only one type of hammer or screwdriver, the creative drummer needs a variety of drumsticks to produce the diverse sounds of today's music. And we've all been frustrated trying to fix or build something with an inferior or incorrect tool. Remember the relief and joy when we easily accomplished the same tasks with just the right tool? Many drummers are often frustrated trying to get a certain sound or play a style of music because they are not using the right tool for the job. With this video, you will learn more about how a drumstick works and how to make a variety of drumsticks work for you. By understanding the various parts of the stick function, you will be able to select the correct stick for a specific musical purpose. Utilizing a wide variety of stick models, this opens up more creativity, efficiency, and best of all, you can have more fun playing. The central theme of this video will be the musical applications and sound producing qualities of different types of drumsticks. Everything presented will relate back to sound and performance. Together with some of the world's greatest drummers, I hope to show you how your ability to utilize a wide variety of drumsticks for different musical purposes will be one of the most important elements to the success of your playing. Limiting yourself to only one or two different types of stick models places real limitations on the quality and versatility of your drumming. Most of our demonstrations and comparisons will focus on the cymbals because it is on the cymbals where stick variations can be best heard. I would like to address the subject of wood species. As Vic mentioned earlier, there are three wood species commonly used for drumsticks. They are in order of their increasing density, maple, hickory, and Japanese oak. Wood density is extremely important because it directly affects the sound character and color of your cymbals and also the durability of a stick. 
Let's compare maple and hickory. The maple stick is lighter and has more flex than its hickory counterpart. So it allows the drummer to play with a lighter stick that has a solid and beefy feel with an overall warm sound and very fast response. Hickory, which is a more dense wood, adds more weight and has less flex, but offers a more pronounced and cutting sound, more durable than maple. In developing a stick for Billy Cobham, he specified that it be made in both maple and hickory. The sticks share the exact same design features and feel and play alike. Billy wanted a maple stick because of its light weight and warm tonal quality, ideal for playing lighter volume music. He chose the hickory for its extra durability and more biting sound which makes it great for large or highly amplified groups. Now let's compare the American Classic 5A Hickory Stick to a Shogun 5A Japanese Oak Stick. The Hickory Stick produces an aggressive, full cymbal sound with all the necessary rhythmic projection and volume. The Oak produces the same sound projection with a brighter sound and a more rigid, in-hand feeling to the player. We will focus on the tip because the tip design plays the greatest role in defining the sound qualities of a stick. We will also point out the differences in other features, such as shoulder designs and the taper of the neck, which affect the sound and playing characteristics of a stick. Round-shaped tips offer a certain sound and performance quality. Brighter, more pointed sounds than other shaped tips, such as the barrel or the teardrop. The size of the tip has a major effect on the stick's sound and response. In other words, while retaining certain basic qualities of a round tip design, a small round shaped tip will sound and perform differently than a large round tip. Size differences within any individual family of tip shapes will affect the stick's overall sound. A small round tip stick, like this one designed for Peter Erskine, has a high sharp and pinpointed sound. It can help a drummer to play very fast, but also very lightly. With such a small tip, the drummer can more easily and clearly articulate subtle rhythmic patterns on the cymbals while keeping a tight control on the dynamics. If you like the sound and performance of a round shaped tip, you may consider a medium sized tip such as this Harvey Mason model. The size tip brings out more of the mid range cymbal tones and gives you a fuller sound than the smaller Erskine model. 
It also allows you to cover a wide range of dynamics. With the countless demands put on a studio drummer like Harvey Mason, this highly versatile stick can be counted on to deliver in a multitude of situations. A large size round tip like this one used by Billy Cobham offers a bigger sound while retaining the overall pointed character of a round tip shape. Its larger size favors the cymbal's lower tones and gives you a darker sound color than the smaller size Mason and Erskine tips. This size stick also gives you a stronger attack and more volume. A barrel-shaped tip gives you a drier and broader sound than a round-shaped tip. Unlike the round tip that favors the highs in the cymbal's tonality, or a teardrop tip that brings out the lows, the barrel tip covers a more even and broader tonal range. The barrel tip gives you a greater striking surface on the cymbal than a round tip. It also softens the bite or point of your cymbal attacks. The wide tonal range and full dry sound help to make the barrel tip a favorite with many top studio drummers. Here are four barrel tip sticks that not only offer you a variety of sounds, but different performance or handling features. A stick like this Dave Weckl model is an excellent choice for an all-purpose barrel tip stick. It's a medium-sized tip and strong neck make it a versatile and durable stick with excellent power and speed. Steve Gadd's stick is an excellent all-purpose stick and is ideal for the drummer who prefers a lighter, thinner, and shorter stick. David Garibaldi's Jam Master is a longer stick, affording the drummer a little extra reach. Its long taper offers a fast cymbal response and is great for rim shots. A very large size barrel tip stick that offers a lot of power and versatility is one of my favorites and it's known as Dom's Kit Stick. It is my own design. 
It is a big sounding stick that is fast enough for jazz, but tough enough for rock. This is a rugged stick that will help you to be heard in the toughest performance situations. On your cymbals, the teardrop tip will bring out more high overtones than a barrel tip and more mid-range and low tones than a round tip. The teardrop tip stick produces deep, rich cymbal sounds. There are many different teardrop tips to choose from. For example, the American Classic 5A and 7A are ideal for medium-sized jazz and pop combos. Two other American classics are the 5B and 2B, with larger size tips which produce darker cymbal sounds than the 5A or 7A. Both sticks offer bolder cymbal attacks and greater volume, making them ideal for bigger ensembles and rock music. For the drummer who likes the feel of a 5A but wants more power from time to time, there is the Carmine Apiece model. It features a unique large heavy tip at the butt end of the stick which can be played for additional power and volume as the music warrants. A power modified version of the classic 5B is Rod Morgenstein's stick. With its full shoulder for endurance and strength, this stick gives the drummer the ability and assurance to play with more power. A beefed up version of the American Classic 2B is the Greg Bissonette stick. It features a heavy shoulder and thick neck for extra power and durability. The oval tip is an excellent choice for the drummer who needs a big full sound. This is the power stick designed for the heavy hitter. The oval design places more weight behind the tip or striking surface. It produces the darkest and most powerful sounds. Here's a durable stick for laying into the cymbals and playing those real heavy beats on your drum kit. For most of your heavy hitting needs, you can go with an American classic rock stick. For even heavier hitting, a thicker and longer stick like the Rock Crusher or the American Classic Metal models may do the trick.
An unusual oval tip stick is Kenny Arnoff's Power Play. A variation of the classic rock, this stick features a series of grooves at the back end of the stick that give the heavy hitting drummer extra gripping ability. Another oval tip variation is the Chad Wackerman model. This stick has the same overall specifications of a 5B, but with an oval tip. It gives the drummer the feel of a 5B with the darker tones and additional power of an oval tip. In today's ever-growing world of drumsticks, there is a group of stick designs that are best described as hybrids. These sticks combine the qualities of different stick tips with unique modifications to other parts of the stick, such as the shoulder or neck. These are innovative designs that offer unique sound and playing features. Here are a few of the hybrids. Steve Smith's stick features an elongated tip. In general, an elongated tip offers deep, full cymbal tones without adding extra weight to the stick. This stick handles similar to a 5A. However, its increased striking surface produces broader and fuller sounds than a comparable 5A with the teardrop-shaped tip. A modified 5B with an elongated tip that provides full dark cymbal sounds without adding weight to the stick can be found on the Charlie Watts model. Terry Bozio's stick has an unusual helmet shaped tip. This is a light yet powerful stick that gives you a focused attack while also capturing the low tones of your cymbals. Casey Shirell's stick combines a round tip with a teardrop. Its maple construction gives you an overall warm sound. Its tip design gives you the distinct symbol definition of a round tip with the darker and fuller timbre of a teardrop tip. Its sturdy shoulder and bold neck add power and endurance to this maple hybrid. The Buddy Rich stick is also a modified 5A with a larger shoulder, neck, and tip. Buddy stick offers great durability without extra weight. Note just how the neck seems to flow right into the tip. This is a solid stick for playing in the demanding Rich style.
The nylon tip sticks present the drummer with a whole different set of sound and performance opportunities. All the nylon tips provide the most brilliant cymbal sounds and greater durability than their wood tip counterparts. Here are some sound comparisons between a 5B wood tip and nylon tip. This special round nylon tip stick developed for Omar Hakim delivers a very bright and focused attack on the cymbals.